And we start with breaking news as Russia launches yet another wave of aerial attacks on Ukraine. The southern port city of Odessa was hit with one person killed and two wounded. That's according to a military spokesman. Explosions were heard in Kyiv early on Thursday morning. The scope of the attack against the capital is still unclear and there was no immediate information on casualties. Military officials said falling debris caused a fire in the non-residential building. It's the ninth time this month that Russian air raids have targeted Kyiv. Well, let's go to Kyiv, uh, where DW correspondent Matthias Böllinger is standing by. Matthias, how did these latest attacks go down? How did you experience them? Yeah, it's the ninth time this month that people are waking up from loud explosions at night. Uh, there's a very distinct sound to these uh, air uh, defense systems. Uh, and, um, yeah, there is a um, kind of ironic way of people asking each other in the morning, like, oh, did you sleep well? Um, and it's, of course, uh, the talk of the day, these attacks. But uh, uh, these uh, air defense systems that uh, Ukraine has received, they make a big difference. So we still hear the explosions. There's still debris falling down. There are still casualties. There's still damage done. Uh, but uh, uh, rockets are, it's almost impossible for Russia now to really hit objects inside the city and um, uh, people really see the difference between what is happening now and what has happened half a year ago in October when this first wave of rocket attacks that was targeting energy infrastructure and that damaged a lot of energy infrastructure hit. Now, the U.S. have reported damage to this Patriot defense system in Ukraine that you just spoke about. How will these latest missiles then be intercepted? Well, Patriot is just one of the systems that Ukraine is using. Of course, we don't know exactly which systems are deployed near Kyiv, which systems are deployed in other regions of uh, the capital, but expect there to be also other systems uh, at work. And last night's attack uh, was cruise missiles. Cruise missiles are easier to intercept than ballistic missiles. And uh, 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 the uh, Patriot system is especially good on ballistic missiles. Uh, it, uh, for, for cruise missiles, the difference between the systems is not that big. So uh, it might have been other systems at work this night. It might also have been that the uh, Patriot system, that's at least what the U.S. is saying, is still operational. The Patriot system consists of several batteries plus uh, several stations. And if, for example, one of these batteries is damaged, there might still be other batteries, I mean, that's the launchers uh, of the rockets uh, at work, uh, plus the radar stations might have been undamaged, etc., etc. So uh, as long as we don't know how big the damage was, it's very hard to answer what exactly is still functional and which is what is not functional. Now, an envoy from China has visited Ukraine on Tuesday and Wednesday, carrying apparently carrying proposals for a peace plan. What's the outcome there? Yeah, you wouldn't really expect uh, like a, a hard outcome uh, after the first visit, but uh, generally speaking, there's a lot of skepticism about this this Chinese mission. Uh, that's basically because uh, Ukraine here in Ukraine, there's a lot of skepticism. That's basically because uh, uh, Ukraine misses a clear stance from China that the goal, the the end goal of these negotiations, would really be a withdrawal of Russia from uh, Ukrainian territory, and that is something that. Ukraine says is a precondition for negotiations, that this would really be the aim of these negotiations. China has been very vague of what it wanted to achieve except uh, for a ceasefire. Our correspondent Matthias Böllinger there reporting from Kyiv. Thank you, Matthias.